Hey guys, so the lighting condition is not the best. My face is melting because I just got back from a barbecue of being outside all day, so my makeup is also not the best. But, I'm just gonna readjust the camera here for a second. <laughs> but this video has been tragically requested. All day, I've been getting message about where is the video. For 22 subscribers, I've gotten a lot of messages, so if you're not subscribed and you're complaining about videos, subscribe please. <laughs> Alright, so in the future, my lighting situation will be a lot better. I do know exactly what I need, as I do study this stuff a lot at night when I'm going to bed. I am going to get a ring light, two soft boxes, a backdrop, a light backdrop, and a hair light. But I can't afford that right now, and I only have 22 subscribers, so quantity and quality, you know what I mean? If I were to get more subscribers, I will invest in stuff like that. But I think a camera is the better thing because I am working with a Samsung A5 phone, and it's not the best picture either. When I do amazing looks, it just doesn't seem to be able to have the pickup of just how great that look is, and I have to adjust the colors in Facetune, and I just feel like that's kind of cheating or it just takes away from the look so I don't I kind of shy away from that as much as I can um, but I am going to do the unboxing today because everybody is asking for it I will be giving you guys a look tomorrow and hopefully the Sun will be out so I can set up in the room and give you a better lighting situation all right so I tried to do this video with the ring light but like it's a little phone ring light it doesn't have the power of an actual ring light I tried to do it with that but actually it couldn't come like it kept like shining out all my products. So I'm gonna say the lighting situation is not the best, but if you guys stick with me, I will get to it. But for now, it's just an unboxing and we really don't, like I can do this in the dark as long as you get to see the products. So I picked up a few things from shoppers that I wanna go through first. They aren't old stuff, like they're still new. There's only one new thing, which is the foundation. I picked up this foundation from CoverGirl. It's the True Blend Matte Made. It's a new one. It's an L30. It is way too light for my skin tone, but they have those damn fluorescent lights in the beauty aisles, and you know that the color never transfers or picks up from there. So I haven't learned my lesson yet, and I went ahead and bought it without even checking my match online first. There is a match, um, thing. I think there's a match generator. If you Google um, cover or foundation match generators, and if you've been matched before with, let's say, a Kat Von D, you can put that match in and they'll show you all the other ones that you match up to in um, like a generator. It's cool. I've seen it before, so if I find it, I will definitely let you guys know where to get it or you can just Google it yourselves. Um, I also got the Instant Age Rewind Erase Dark Circles. This is an oldie but a goodie from Maybelline. Love this one. Um, when I, I use that one for under my eyes and then for highlighting, I use the Maybelline um, Master Conceal. And this is also a new product for me too, but it's pretty much a really good concealer. It doesn't um, make everything powdery or anything like that. So it's really good. Like not powdery, but cakey. This is also an oldie but a goodie. This is the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. And this is actually a really good primer. I use it on my lips when I'm going on a date. Not that your date would want to kiss a baby's butt, but it's as soft as one. And then I told you guys that I was going to bring you back and let you know how this Becca primer worked as I did the other Becca primer. And lo and behold, it turned out to be just like the other Becca primer. Unless you have oily skin, not combination, this is not for you. I have an oily T-zone and dry around, and that means I'm combination. Every place that I'm dry, this really just, I don't know, it ultra dries it out. And then your skin will peel. It literally peeled my dry spots. So Becca primers are really not for me. I don't know if it's like that with everybody. I'm just giving my own opinion about products and what they do for my skin. Everybody's different and everybody's opinion is different. So please try it for yourself. Don't come at me. I'm just giving you what I know from what I show. <laughs> All right, so the first thing in the magic box of Amazon, now I bought 72 brushes because some of it's for personal use and others are just for my clients and my kit. It's more sanitary, it's more professional, and I don't have to wash and disinfect all the brushes if a client decides they want to come over one day. So it's there in my kit and it's there to use when ready. So yes, I do need this many brushes. No, they're not all for me. 
All right, so I have a great makeup idea that I really need red, black, and white face paints. Now I did my research and I heard Snazaroo is a really, really good paint company. They are not that expensive. I think it's 12 bucks per each one. There's a good amount of paint in here as they come in very round kind of circular things. It's not dried out, it's just a cover on top. I thought it was dried out until I got my finger all red. <laughs> it comes in an 18 mil, so it's not that small. And they're actually really good. They're in their own little cases, so you can stack them and rack them, you know? So I really wanna get into face paint and I have a really good makeup idea that I think I'm going to do on the weekend or before the weekend, who knows, that I really wanna show you guys and try. Remember, this is a whole new world to me, but I got it. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Okay, so I got three brush sets. I got a really good, well, a really like five star, well, four and a half stars on Amazon. This is the Shawnee brush set. It's a 32 piece. I got another brush set. I think it's from, hold on, I gotta like take the brush out. It's one of these leather case brushes and I'm gonna drop them everywhere because it wouldn't be a Shannon video without dropping some shit. This is from a company called Candrim. And those that's another 32 set kit. And then I got a 12 set kit, which I'm going to show you now. This is from a place called Matto. It's in a really nice like faux leather bag. And it's got the company name there. And you unzip it and it's got like a pink kind of fabric inside. And it has 12 brushes on the inside. I think it has six face brushes and four eye brushes. They are super soft. So you have six face brushes right here and then four eye brushes right here. They are super soft and they are very nice. Like I cannot wait to work with these. They seem amazing. From what I can tell, because this is first impressions, there's no fallout. I find no fallout whatsoever, none, see? No fallout. Um, and they seem soft and they seem really nice. They have the matto on the brush. There's no numbers on them, but I guess for Amazon, that's not really an uncommon thing. I think my sh shani brushes, shani, shani, shani brushes. I don't know. <laughs> my shani, I'm going to call it shani. I don't know what, how you say it properly. So don't come for me, but I think my shani brushes are the only shani brushes are the only, this is going to piss me off, are the only brushes that have numbers on them. So I don't really tell you guys what my numbers are because like all brushes are the same. All right, so when you go into the uh, Candrum kit with 32 brushes, as you can see, there's no numbers on them. They just have Candrum. It is like a really amazing set for detailed brushes. So it comes in like a really, not as nice, nice leather as the Shawnee brushes, but it's good enough. I don't think I can get it all on camera. They come with a lot, like all this section right here, all these brushes, I think it's these ones. Yeah, they're all flat. These are all flat brushes. If you're looking for a um, brush set that has blending brushes, you are not gonna find any blending brushes. See that? There is no blending brushes in this whole entire kit. They are all flat head brushes. And that is why I went ahead and bought the Shawnee 32 piece kit as well, because this one has no blending brushes. They are all flat. And I loved that about it because I needed more flat brushes. There's one little round brush here in this one, but once again, like really, what are you going to blend with that? I mean, I can find some ways, but what I really wanted was this area and these are all small detailed brushes so that is a perfect like um flat flat brush set i guess you can say <laughs> it's a really good flat brush set and i'm going to take some out of that and create my customer kit and i'm going to take some out and make my personal kit so you kind of see the method to my madness right not all the brushes i'm not just going to take one company brush for me and then another company for you know i'm going to take the best of the best and put it in my client kit and then the best of the the rest of the best and put it in my kit so that is the matto one All right, so next up is the Shawnee. So this one is my favorite, I think, out of all of them. Uh, they have really good reviews. It is a really good company. 
The bag feels way better than the matto one. And there's just gonna be brushes that fall out, but that's okay. It seems more, they seem more expensive. And in this kit, you will find that there is a little bit more selection. But I'm going to tell you now, there is not that many blending brushes either. See, pretty much a flat selection, except for the three over here. <laughs> So you're not gonna get a lot of blending out of here, guys. Like, that is why I buy more than one kit. So that is the Shawnee one. Now, I can't tell you first impressions because I haven't really used them yet. So I'm pretty much gonna end the video here at 10 minutes and 38 seconds because it's pretty much all I got. And those are all my brushes. So um, I do have a lot more brush sets that I got last time if you wanna check out my other videos of unboxing. Um, and those came with more um, blending brushes. I might buy one more kit that's just all blending brushes or just singular blending brushes because now I feel like I don't have enough blending brushes. <laughs> it's a sickness. It's never going to end. <laughs> anyway, my makeup junkies, we're at 11 minutes. Mwah! Blessed be and may the gods forever be in your favor and I'm coming at you tomorrow with a brand new makeup video. So stay tuned, stay beautiful, keep your confidence high. Love y'all.